For the earthworm dissection, the first thing you need to do is to identify which is the anterior, the posterior, uh, the dorsal, and the ventral sides. Uh, the anterior can be found by locating the clitellum right here. It looks kind of like a band-aid almost wrapped around the worm. Um, this shorter piece is then the anterior, so I'll show a little bit fatter. Uh, the posterior then is the opposite side. Dorsal and ventral, um, you, what you need to do is you need to roll around the earthworm and you need to look for a discoloration of the dorsal vein or you can look on the bottom and you can feel the bristle-like structures that line the entire ventral part of the body. Now when you're ready to start dissection, um, you need to have a few tools on hand. The first would be the scalpel. Uh, make sure your blade is sharp. Uh, if it looks dull, uh, contact the teacher and the teacher will give you a new blade. But do not uh, hold the blade like this. Do not uh, hold it like that or anything. Your fingers close to the blade because um, that is dangerous. Uh, you may also require scissors, some dissecting pins, you have plenty of these, and then a dissecting probe. You'll also be given a dissection uh, hand microscope. And now we're all ready and set to go. Now, to start the dissection, you first need to take one pin and you need to place it probably about the second or third segment of the worm and then pin it down. Take another pin and you can go about um, middle of the way through because the worm may actually be longer than your dissecting tray and we don't need to cut all the way down. It's so about middle of the way through and you don't want it really, really tight, but you do want it tight. Uh, makes the incisions a lot easier. Putting the pins in at an angle also helps uh, keep it tight. Now you're ready for the dissection. To begin, uh, first find the uh, dorsal vein, be a dark purple line going across. Uh, take your scalpel and cut to the side of that vein, right or left. Now you don't want to go too deep because if you go too deep you will cut through the organ, so you want to take it nice and slow. Adjusting the tray uh, might be a good idea too. Start near the top. And just a nice cut all the way down. Doesn't have to be very deep at all. I'm only going in probably about that far with the blade. Just going across the top. And it may take you, you know, a couple times to cut through. Just go back and forth depending on how sharp or how dull your blade is. You want to take it to the clitellum and then you can stop. Now, as you do this, um, you want to keep all of your tools uh, either on the tray or on a paper towel uh, to the side. You can now begin putting in the rest of the dissection pins. You can do that by taking your dissecting probe, opening up a part of the worm by just getting in there and sticking a probe in there like so and then doing it to the opposite side. Now the sides of these walls will be connected so it will be kind of tough but once you get a pair it makes it a lot easier. You can then take your dissection probe and gently go back and forth along the side to separate the wall to make it a lot easier to put in your pins. You don't need a whole lot. As far as this goes, you could probably get away with just six. One, two, three, four, five, and six.
you will notice that once um, I get these all in that you'll see that I did in fact cut through some of my worm. Like I said, it doesn't take much and you have a very sharp scalpel like I did, you really don't even need to be pushing down when you go across the worm. Again, rotating when necessary is perfectly fine. And see here is where I had cut my worm. Um, that is just topsoil. That's the intestines. Uh, you can now be able should be able to identify uh, most, if not all, of these uh, organs. Um, be sure that you do touch uh, the organs with the dissecting probe or your own fingers to see what they feel like. It is not necessary to cut all the way down because it's just the digestive tract from there on down. Uh, any of the other external pores should have been looked at before this dissection had occurred. Remember, external first, internal last. And once you are complete and you're finished answering your questions and your dissection, uh, make sure you pull the pins out, put them back in the tray where you found them, clean out the tray itself, get any juices out, clean out, wash it, dry it, stack it, and you can take your worm and you can throw your worm in the trash.